Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth video in our series of videos on the French Revolution. As always we begin with our learning outcomes so by the end of this presentation you guys should know the consequences of the Cham de Mars massacre. Second you guys should know what the legisl legislative assembly was and how it came into being. Third you guys should know how France entered war with Austria and Prussia. Uh, and finally you guys should know what happened on August 10th in 1792 and the, event the events leading up to it. In our last video, we looked at King Louis XVI's attempts to escape with the flight of Rennes and the violent protests that turned into the massacre at the Cham de Mars. Today, we are going to look at the events that led to what some call the Second Revolution and some of the consequences of that. So after the Cham de Mars massacre, there was the first split in the left-wing political group, the Jacobins. Uh, there were moderates known as the Fiance, uh, who wanted to keep the king and to set up a constitutional monarchy, as opposed to the more left-wing and radical Jacobins who wanted to set up a republic and to overthrow the king. It was the moderates who initially took control of the National Assembly after the massacre at Cham de Mars. But why? Well, after the uh, Cham de Mars incident, the people of France were disgusted and terrified by the radical mobs roaming the streets of Paris. Um, in fact, the leaders of the radical Cordier clubs who had organised the protests originally, Danton and Marat, were forced into hiding. Uh, and another 200 courtier um, activists were arrested and the club itself uh, was suppressed. The radical Jacobins, though not seen as being responsible, like the courtier club were, were now unpopular thanks to their radical republican views. People were more in favour of preserving not only the monarchy now, but also some of the powers of the king. Most importantly, they were going to give the king the ability to veto any law he didn't approve for a significant period of time. It was in this atmosphere that the National Assembly finalised and ratified France's new constitution, known as the Constitution of 1791. So with the National Assembly's job complete, which was the drawing of the constitution, they disbanded and called for new elections. Crucially, before they dissolved, a radical Jacobin politician called Maximilien Robespierre, who we'll be looking at in more detail later on, proposed that nobody who sat on the National Assembly should run for office in the new national government, which would be known as the Legislative Assembly. All the delegates agreed to this, and so the new Legislative Assembly consisted of new politicians. A lot of the same, they still came from the same political groups, but they were um, new men to the job. Uh, with most of them now being from the third estate um, as the first and second estate were really isolated by the um, the radical line that they felt that the National Assembly and now the Legislative Assembly was taken. So this new government was more radical than the previous one um, and in November of uh, 1791 they brought through legislation declaring all of the emigres, remember those are the people who left, guilty of conspiracy uh, and they were to be prosecuted for it. They also brought in another law um, deporting any priest who wouldn't take the civic oath. Louis XVI used his new constitutional power to veto both these laws. This drew the ire of not only the government but also those radicals in Paris. However, the event that really brought the radical element of the revolution back to the fore of this revolution was the outbreak of war with Austria and Prussia. So in August of 1791, Austria and Prussia had issued uh, the Declaration of Pilnitz, saying that they would support Louis against the French Revolution. This really put Louis, who was still, remember, trapped in the Tuileries Palace, in a pretty difficult position, and people questioned his in intentions. Eventually, the Legislative Assembly in April of 1792 declared war on Austria and Prussia um, as a sign uh, of their um, willingness to stand up to people who were trying to overthrow the revolution. The war, however, was a complete disaster from the French, leading to massive amounts of panic in Paris. Um, uh, that all they had gained was about to be lost. This led to a pretty disturbing event on the 20th of June when mobs broke into the Legislative Assembly and to Louis's home in the Tuileries, Paris. They forced Louis to um, wear the revolutionary hat 
and a toast to the French nation, which would have been a terrifying um, experience for both him and his family as they were surrounded by this mob who broke into him. Finally, with the Austrian and Prussian armies advancing uh, on Paris and they're them declaring on the 25th of July that they would be restoring Louis to his old um, position of power, uh, the decisive moment took place. The mobs of Paris led by Danton, remember who had been who had been at the centre of the Champ de Mars massacre, he'd been allowed back into the country after having gone into hiding. Um, they invaded the Tuileries and they massacred the guards stationed to protect uh, the king. With this fighting at the Tuileries, uh, over half of the delegates at the Legislative Assembly fled. Louis was then brought in front of the Legislative Assembly, which is mostly made up of Jacobins now, by the Parisians who had invaded his home. And here they forced the Legislative Assembly to suspend the king um, and that a new convention should be um, made to draw up a new constitution because the constitution of 1791 did not work. Um, this really, it became obvious to everyone that the national government or the legislative government, that the, the government that um, represented the nation had no power and that the real power actually lay with the people of Paris. And in the next video, we will see how the violence again escalates even further after this event. So that brings us to the end of our presentation. So by now you guys should know the consequences of the Jean de Mars massacre. You guys should know what the Legislative Assembly was and how it came into being. You guys should know how France entered the war with Austria and Prussia and how it advanced. And finally, you guys should know what happened on August 10th of 1792 and the events leading up to it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys got something good from this video.